The more sausage I can get in my life, the better. This is not okay. I literally feel like I washed my hair yesterday and the grease from all the foods that I've eaten today is like coming out of my head. gorgeous people welcome back for another video welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Ashley and I would absolutely love for you to stick around and subscribe I am doing a really really exciting video today I'm a bit excited and I don't really know how it's gonna go because at the moment doing a fast food challenge where all you eat for 24 hours is fast food doesn't seem like that much of a challenge to me right now because I mean I'm hungry and I absolutely love fast food. The only thing is that I'm a little bit mm about is I'm, oh, let's get comfy, is I am trying to like monitor sort of like and watch what I eat a bit at the minute. So doing a fast food challenge probably isn't the best thing, but we move. I wanted to do it, so here we are. But you've got to start the day off with a McDonald's breakfast. I'm sorry if the lighting is a bit funny, like the sun has just come out and I'm not complaining so I want to be like in the sun as much as possible. It's kind of like cloudy but not cloudy but the sun is there a little bit so that's making me so excited for spring. I am so ready for summer, so ready for spring and just ready to mm, be outside in the garden getting a tan. I don't tan but I will sure try my hardest so I just want to be out in the garden all the time so the sun's making me so 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 happy but... I haven't even told you what I got. So, my like standard McDonald's breakfast order is the double sausage and egg McMuffin meal. And I always, always get a orange juice as well. I love a good orange juice. But, quite a lot of people don't like the egg. Now, it don't really phase me to be fair. And I can't just get a single sausage and egg McMuffin. Like, that's just not a bit of me. I do. The more sausage I can get in my life, the better. That didn't sound too right, did it? Mm. I did think about doing the 10,000 calorie challenge again, but I just don't know if I can bring myself to try again. Like, I feel like I can, like, think about it better because when me and Mark did it, we kind of just, like, scoffed as much as we could and I got really, like, full up in the morning. And then, oh, God. I have never like felt so poorly from food before i felt so dirty like my skin just went buff in spots which is probably what it's going to do tomorrow to be fair but we'll clean them up it's fine yeah it was just like not a good time doing that challenge but i did enjoy like eating all the food so oh i don't know if you want to see like me try and attempt the 10,000 calorie challenge again but mark will probably be at work so it'll just be me doing it by myself then let me know and i will obviously um think about it but for now Mm. This is just like the biggest bit of me ever. Mm. 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 I can't work out this is going to be a good day. So I'm really hoping that I don't end up feeling like really like terrible afterwards again because I was so poorly. I need to figure out what I want for lunch as well. Because around here I think there's like a KFC. And that's about it. <laughs> That's actually about it, so I think we're gonna have to get a KFC or another McDonald's. But I haven't had a KFC in literally like, literally probably like 10 years now, so maybe it'll probably be time to have a KFC. I don't know what to order from KFC, and I don't know about you, but if I go to a drive through to be fair, the only drive throughs that I actually go to are McDonald's and Starbucks, but I need like my order prepared, like because it gives me anxiety reading the menu as the person is there waiting to take your order it's like when you're sat in a restaurant and they're like are you ready to order and someone's like yes and then you're like i'm not ready and then you're like oh my god i don't know what to eat and then oh god the anxiety is real it's not okay like first world problems i know but literally i like to be prepared so i might need to go home and look at the kfc menu then i can suss out what i want because i literally i get they do chicken but i've got no idea what comes with it where when who what you know Oh, I've been eating this too fast. I'm so hungry this morning. It's not okay. But I'm sure I'm not going to be hungry later. So I'm going to finish eating this up now. That's just gone everywhere. Brilliant. And then I'll catch up with you at lunchtime. <laughs> Right 
then so it's now a lot later in the day it's about half past two now and just before i head off to kfc we know i need to pick out my meal first before i go and i've just got the menu up and there's so much to choose from like there is so much to choose from like do i want a rice box do i want just a big fat bucket do i just want something small because I think we're going to get a Domino's later. So I'm going to want like some chicken wings from there. Because I love the Domino's chicken wings. Um, so I'm in a little bit of a sticky pickle. Oh brilliant. That's great. <laughs> this has just happened. That's fabulous. That's exactly what I need. So as soon as I click on meals for one. Woo. It's working now. It's just so many things to choose from. Do I get a burger? The burgers look quite nice. I don't want anything with bones in it because I know I've just said that I really like chicken wings but for some reason I don't know why but the chicken at KFC just like freaks me out a little bit. So I definitely want something boneless. This boneless banquet box looks alright. Three chicken breasts, mini fillets, popcorn, chicken, fries and a side. I did it. I hope you're all super proud of me but I did it. I got my KFC. And I picked up, I'm sorry, how big is this bag for this tiny little box? <laughs> little bit of a waste. Okay, cool. So, oh, the chips are chunky at KFC. They're a lot fatter. And colder. That's weird. You can tell that they've just been like, oh, that was a nice one. I'm confused. Okay, I definitely prefer McDonald's chips. Like you can tell that these have just been like really, really quickly heated up because they're like boiling hot on the outside and then cold in the middle. I'm really not sure how they've managed to do that. Really not sure about them. Look how diddy that popcorn chicken is. That is so cute. And I know this sounds really silly, but it's actually really like satisfying me that it comes in a little popcorn tub. Can you tell how long it's been since I've been to KFC? That's tasty. But it's almost like cold again as well. It's good though. I'm going to eat that. Got on the cob. And then we've got some little boneless bits of chicken. Oh, I nearly spat that everywhere then. That would have been nice. But I'm excited for these. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm here in your KFC. That chicken, that's a bit of me. Mm. I'm appreciating that chicken. Yeah, this is nice. This is a little bit naughty. I like it. Oh baby, that's so juicy. That is so juicy. And it's so warm as well, which is great. And got myself a little Diet Coke as well, which we like. Don't know why that always makes me laugh. You would not think that I'm 26, but there we go. And oh my God, I love a corn on the cob. Ow. That is so hot. Are they trying to burn my fingers off? How'd you get into it? What? How do you actually eat? Is this a joke? It's like one of those things that's on bread. I'm showing it to you and I'm sure that you've all eaten like KFC before, but ah, there we go. There we go. Right, let's have a little nom 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 on that. I hope it's soft. I like it super soft. Whoa. Can you see the steam coming off of that? That's about to burn my mouth off. Oh! Yeah, it's about to burn my mouth off. I'm quite enjoying this day. I'm sure. The thing is, is it'll hit me tomorrow and I'll feel like an absolute slug tomorrow. I'm not going to be able to move. I'm going to have to just leave. But I mean, we're in lockdown. That's not a problem. I can just slough my little life away tomorrow. I've pulled up as well in a car parking space that like is pointing out towards like a busy roundabout and I can't stop people watching. And I've forgotten how much I love people watching. Like, does anybody else like it? I can't be the only one. Me and Mark love it. I love just seeing, like, what people are doing in their cars. I mean, hopefully, 
focusing on the road, but it's better when you're like out and about and you're like shopping and you just see like different people walking along and you're just looking at different people like, oh, I wonder what you're up to today. Like, oh, are you together? Are you just friends? Or what are you doing today? What are you doing tomorrow? Like, I hope you're okay in life right now. That's just the kind of things that go on in my head. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting full. I don't know if since it's a food challenge, you've got to eat all your food, but... I don't even taste the butter, you know. It just tastes of water. It's spurted all over my windscreen. Oh, that is so annoying. I'm going to have to come and clean that off. Oh. I hope it is just water. It doesn't taste of butter. Oh, that is so annoying. Keeps juicing everywhere. I tell you what, I know I said that I like it soft, but that is a new level of soft. Also, are people going to come for me because I've got the corn and the cob and not the gravy? It's just, I can't eat that. I've seen so many people, like, share videos of how the gravy is made. And it just, like, mad puts me off of eating the gravy. But I know people go crazy for it. But isn't it just meant to be, like, literally, like, all the scraps and, like, like the dirty bits off the bottom? So I couldn't bring myself to get the gravy. We like what we like, don't we? So if the gravy's your thing, you eat it. See what I mean about people watching? That guy just pure tooted. Got right up that man's backside for no reason and is now just fully backed off of him. People driving make me worried, you know. That'll do then. I managed to eat everything apart from the corn and the chips. So when I say everything, I ate like 50% of it. I, I mean, that's not too shabby, is it? I feel like I'm sweating a little bit. Is the chicken that salty? <laughs> oh, I'm struggling to breathe. This is not okay. I can see that this is becoming a challenge now because this, actually the thought of having more fast food now makes me want to like be sick a bit it's not like nice eating fast food every single day all day i don't know how some people do it but it's making me feel like Ugh. Ugh. can't do that again i think i actually might throw up i'm gonna go and calm myself down have a little lay down stop sweating after all that salt get this chicken out my tooth and um I'll catch up with you later when i come up to get the dominoes right maybe i'll just um catch up when i get back to the house because it's very very dark but we are on our way to pick up our dominoes say hi mackie yo <laughs> I got through absolutely nothing but I'm um, gonna have to catch up with you in the morning because I'm very 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 full and I feel like I just need to be silent and lie down <laughs> what's so funny about what's, what's so funny about me being silent <laughs> I literally feel like I washed my hair yesterday and the grease from all the foods that I've eaten today is like coming out of my head and making my hair greasy again not okay but anyway yeah i've been massively defeated and i'm gonna have to catch up with you tomorrow because i need to go and lie down and compose myself good morning gorgeous people so <laughs> it is now a couple of days later and i'm feeling so much better oh my goodness i can't hack food challenges like i literally i can't hack them like so when did i do it i did it on monday and it is Wednesday today. Yesterday was literally a write-off. Like, it was... I felt so disgusting and so slothy and just slobby. And it was... 
in a way i'm actually quite grateful that i've done it because now all i want to put in my body is like nutritious food i want to eat so much more fruit i want to eat so much more veg because it kind of just like put into perspective like how much better i actually feel when i've got healthy foods in my body and i actually eat my fruit and veg and just look after myself basically i mean don't get me wrong i enjoy a takeaway like i enjoy a mcdonald's breakfast so much as we know but literally i was like no <laughs> just like i felt terrible like so 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 bad so it's almost like in a nice way just like kick-started a bit more health into my life like a bit more health into my body i even worked out yesterday i worked out this morning and i'm not saying i'm doing this because i feel bad for eating because i definitely did not feel guilty for eating those foods on monday like i enjoyed it to an extent until i actually felt so poorly that evening it was not okay but i think it was just the pizza and all the cheese i just felt so bloated and so disgusting i made myself laugh because literally when i was like i don't even see how this is going to be a challenge and then yeah it was definitely a challenge but i don't know how do we feel about the food challenges did you enjoy it do you like it because I mean, me being me, I will do another one. I'm thinking of doing the old trend where it was like only eating exactly like the recommended servings throughout the day because I hopefully don't think <laughs> that that will make me feel terrible if it is like the recommended servings. I think I'll be quite surprised actually as well doing that one. So yeah, maybe that's another food challenge we could do and I look forward to doing that one. But otherwise I'm just a bit of a wimp. Like I just can't hack it. I can't do it. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway because you kind of have to because of how poorly I felt and like how my skin has just gone like not okay and... Oh, I'm just trying to get myself back to normal. But anyway, I am literally chewing your ear off now. So I'm going to round this video up here. If you haven't already, then I would love for you to subscribe. It's free. Just uh, click that little button for me and stick around for more videos. I'm definitely going to be trying to upload more regularly as well, which is super duper exciting. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope you're all okay. Stay safe, be kind, and I shall see you soon.